Uh, hey guys, I'm Mitchy Brusco, 10 time X Games medalist. Usually at each X Games, there is a moment that sticks out. A lot of times it's the, the big trick that happened. It doesn't matter what discipline, someone's gonna go and show up and take over. There's one guy who kind of wins the whole event. When Travis Pastrana did a double backflip. <laughs> Tony Hawk does a 900. There's these moments that stick out so strong. But if there is one place to leave a mark that resonates beyond skateboarding, it's in Big Air. Because you don't have to have any experience to know how hard it is and to know how dangerous and how scary it is. One thing happens and we will never forget. It doesn't matter if it's 10 years ago, 20 years ago, whatever. These tricks and these comps stand the test of time. The moments that stick out to me in Big Air over the years has to be the couple times I've seen Italo Penarubia and Nolan Monroe and Clay Kreiner. Everyone goes about 18 feet at the comp, 20 maybe. But when they break that barrier, and don't just barely go an inch higher than everyone else, it's like they're like four feet, five feet above the rest. You can just feel it. 22, 22 feet. inches. Feet. <laughs> Biggest McTwist ever. ever. And then Bob's insane consistency over the years. Every single comp we'd go to, we would be in disbelief every time. There, it wasn't like we ever got used to it. He would do, to 720 to fakie, 20 feet high, and be in the most dangerous spot you can put yourself in. And somehow he's just standing on his board, like, give this man a medal. The crazy comeback stories. It's the, the, the epitome of passion and just the need to not give up with Danny Way clipping his ankles, doing a front flip, standing up, getting back on, and then making his run. That level of commitment is just, I don't even understand it. He's got it! Big Air is so intense that whether it's good or bad, it's gonna be a moment. Jake Brown's slam happened before I ever started skating Mega, and I don't think I've skated it one time without thinking about it. There hasn't been one big air contest where we don't know what the risks are. Jake's sticks out like a sore thumb. Oh, oh, oh my God, oh! That was the heaviest slam we've ever seen. I mean, I, I quit every year. I'm like, uh, I don't think I should do this anymore. And then something happens, I'm like, oh, I, it just keeps bringing me back. Mitchy Brusco right now, he's trying to get this thing lined up. He's in ninth place. What motivates me, what gives me goosebumps, what I have dreams about are these crazy moments, are these tricks that I want to do, these dream tricks. Spinning really good, this might be it. Yes! Oh my gosh, Mitchy Brusco with a 1080. Great, oh, oh my God. Not believe it. The progression in big air is slow, but the time you spend on the ramp, in the air, floating around, getting used to the little feelings, you have to skate it for five years, 10 years, before you start to really get in tune with it. So when I first started, I went super hard. 900s right away, went straight into a 1080, boom, did it. And then I, and then I took a step back. I'm like, this is dangerous. I'm not ready for any more steps. And I need to kind of get level where, where I'm at in this sport. Since I've had that time, I knew what direction I wanted to take it. I knew it was time to do a 1260. I was going to Shanghai, and I was skating practice. In that moment, I knew that I could do it. Something hit me. It hit me like a ton of bricks, and I was just looking at the quarter pipe, like almost bummed out because I know myself, and I could not let it go. Like I knew once that moment happened, I was like, this is your life until you do a 1260 now. The contest started and I ripped a couple in Shanghai and it got around. Once I realized that I had the time and I was able to spin fast enough and I had the awareness and I understood it, I was happy as I could be. 
The next three months before Minnesota, I was just like straight forward with it. Once the, the big air comp started, like I knew my plan and I was ready. I was just hunting for that trick. We turn our attention to Mitchie Brusco, who right oh, out Mitchie. the gate comes swinging, trying that 1260 on his first attempt. Can he do it here? In my head, I'm like, you're gonna do this, you're gonna have this speed, you're gonna do a 1260. It's like, I could feel it. I could feel I was ready. I could feel, I mean, it was intense, but I knew it was gonna happen. I don't think he's going to stop until he puts this thing down. This could be it. Oh, a little low on the landing, but he's got it. Oh, oh my yes! gosh! What is going on? Look at Knights of it. Columbus! I don't believe what I have seen! For me, I'm really happy that I was able to kind of blow the lid off of a 1260. Like, I went through so much emotionally to get to that place that once I did it, it didn't feel like it was for anyone else. It didn't feel like it was for the contest or for the TV. It was just like, I did the moment I was kind of in my head like, you accomplished it and, it's, and it was important to me. It showed the contest, it showed the people, like this is possible. You can go up there and you can spin a bunch and you can come down and you can land. That moment, I realized like what we can really do. Mitchy Brusco goes where no person has gone before. A 1260 at the X Games. Maybe we do a 1260 and no one ever does it again and that's the day. But that's not how skating works. Someone's gonna do something. That's one thing I can guarantee. Oh, 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 These are the moments that make X Games the X Games.